welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm just here with Renee. Thank you so much for tuning into today's Day in the Life. I'm excited because it's going to be a good one. So make sure you subscribe and like this video, especially if you're new. Okay, subscribe. Okay, you'll love it over here. So today we are going to the beach with my friends. I'm not even sure what beach we're going to. That's really how much trust I have in my friends. I just know that they'll pick a good spot and I can just get up get ready and go and have a great time so yeah i just packed our lunch bag and i'm so excited like it just made me excited because it's really giving beach vibes the weather last night it thunderstormed but the sun is coming out the birds are chirping my uber is on the way it should be here in five minutes so let's just see where the day takes us okay also for reference this is my lunch bag like girl big as hell it's a um what's it called insulated freezer bag love that for me and then i have a bag full of stuff like literally all my necessities i got a beach blanket towel wipes three different types of sunscreen all the stuff that will be in my purse and wallet my shades a speaker everything girl everything so yeah i'm all packed up to the beaches eat and get tan. Is that not what life is about as a woman? As it should. It is. Eating, what? recuperating. Y'all didn't say hi yet. Say hi. Hi. Flush. It's cool, man. Got red bottles on. Life is good. You know what I mean?
I got a little bit of a tan. I had to wash my hair because I ended up getting actually like in the water in the ocean, girl. I shampooed and conditioned my hair. I blew her out. Um, I straightened her using the products that I just showed you guys. And I also cut my ends. And basically now it looks like I have an overgrown ball. The cut isn't bad at all either. And my ends just feel so much thinking better. I had a lot of dead ends. And if you didn't know... Dead ends and split ends is what forces your hair to not um, keep its retention and keep its length. So she had to go, okay? And now I look, it looks so healthy. And I can still do all of the styles that I was doing prior. It's not hindering me in any type of way. I basically had to wait for my big chop that I did last May. So I actually just hit my reunion. Um, but yeah, I had to wait until my front caught up to the back so I can make it look a little more even because my front was way worse than my back. So my back was outgrown. The middle and the back of my head can grow a lot. The front continues to experience breakage. And it's my fault, girl. I got to stop wearing them ponytails and them buns, them sleek buns. But I love the way I look with those styles. But yeah, I'm going to decondition my hair once a week. And I'm probably going to keep my hair stretched because my hair tends to um, get tangled the most when it's in its curly state, honestly, truly. I'm not going to be a straight natural, but I will be stretching it more often just so I can keep up with it a little bit better. But my hair is so healthy. Literally, it's like the healthiest it's been in so stinking long. Do y'all see my ends? Ah! My battery is about to die though, so I am about to go eat dinner, continue to play in my hair. It's like, no, I'm going to wrap it. That looks so healthy. Ugh. And I'm going to catch back up with y'all when I'm doing something else, okay? Hey y'all, long time no speak. It's been a couple of days and today is Friday. I'm on my way to my little brother's graduation. He's graduated from Bowie High School. I'm so proud of him. Shout out to the siblings, okay, because they have been doing their big ones with their graduation. So, a man is currently getting me a smoothie. Um, and we're going to be on our way to the University of Maryland for his celebration. So... I was told I look like a sexy school teacher today. Y'all gonna see the whole outfit, I'll show y'all later. But yeah, come along with me, girl. <laughs> Y'all, do I have some tea for you? So clearly, the graduation recap was cut short in this vlog because, girl, I had a passing out fainting experience yesterday at my brother's graduation. Oh, my God. I was so embarrassed. I don't know why I'm embarrassed about that. My family was like, girl, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. We're just glad you're okay. But, y'all, we were standing out in the heat waiting for him to come down to where our family was standing after, like, the ceremony wrapped. And we were outside. It wasn't even that hot outside. We were standing right in the heat. Like, right in the sun. There was no shade. So, on that on top of me not eating, I literally only got a smoothie on the way and I didn't even finish it. Girl, I passed the freak out. Now, if you know me, you know it happens sometimes. Either when I'm overheated, dehydrated, don't eat, or I'm, like, super stressed out. So, yeah, girl, it was a combination of dehydration, lack of food, and heat. So, yeah, that was my experience yesterday. I completely scared my entire family, my boyfriend, girl, but I'm okay. And now it's the next day, Saturday. Michael, my man, and I are on our way to go tour an apartment just for funsies. I'm not moving out soon, but I do want to move before I resign my lease with this place that I'm at now. And then I'm going to link back up with my dad and my sister. Um, we're going to Baltimore for this, like, festival. So we're going to see what that's talking about, okay? But, yeah, let's get into this apartment tour. We are going to the Whitmer. It's at, like, Pentagon City Mall. So we're going to see what it's hitting on. It's very expensive. Um, very luxurious. And 
very modern very up to date so yo stay tuned <laughs>